Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Let's talk melody today. I'll be focusing on the sad boy stuff like Porter Robinson, San Holo. Screw the intro, we're just gonna get right into it. Let's go. Number one, the best way to do this is to combine a common chord progression with what I like to call the magic five aka a pentatonic scale. So you get there, it's time to start writing. Where do you start? The key is to just do it. Just do it! I tend to keep it simple by writing a three or four note melody over top of a really simple chord progression. All right, so let's use this progression from my chord video. Check that out if you haven't seen it yet. As you can see, this is just a really simple ascending chord progression in A minor. So it's sad, but it's uplifting at the same time, just like Porter Robinson or San Holo. To get a melody on this really quickly, I like to use the Magic Five, the pentatonic scale. Since we're in A minor, you can just stick to the white keys here and you can basically come up with anything, but you can make it even simpler for yourself by sticking to these five notes. For example, in A minor, we go notes one, three, four, five, sometimes the two. So you can hear even just playing those in a row, it sounds kind of ethereal and cool. And same with the major key. So in C major, you do these notes. One, two, three, five, six, and sometimes seven. So you get. cool little trick you can do too is to combine the major version of Magic 5 with the minor chord progression and you can get some really cool results such as but you want to keep it simple keep it to just a few notes three or four notes and play around with the timing a little bit combine long notes with short notes Don't worry so much about switching notes based on what chord is playing behind it. Even in Sad Machine, he literally uses the exact same melody three times in a row. This works because the chord change is enough to keep the listener interested and engaged in the song. And then the last little trick you can do is called jumping the octave, which is what he does here at the very end where he bumps the note up all the way to the octave as a little accent. And just like I've done in this one here too. And that's all you technically need to know about writing a melody. This info is really good and all, but how do you actually come up with a melody that's as good or as memorable as someone like Porter Robinson? And the short answer is, you don't. <laughs> I mean, if you're trying to exactly recreate something another artist has done, you're gonna end up just disappointing yourself. But there is a way that you can create something that you will be proud of. This is called the U factor. Let me explain. A lot of melody ideas, they come from practice and they come from experience, from listening to music and learning from it. The best way to build it up is just listen to a lot of music. This is especially true with genres outside of the one you're writing. As for me, I like to write EDM, but a lot of my inspiration comes from emo music. As I've said before, if I'm not writing EDM, I'm listening to pop punk, I'm listening to emo, rock, and a lot of those genre tropes end up inside my song. Porter Robinson, for example, he takes a lot of his inspiration from Japanese music and old 90s video games. Listen to his music and the Final Fantasy soundtrack side to side and somebody's been ripping somebody off. Just kidding, you're a musical genius, Porter, I love you, please call me. Or even Skrillex, he's just like me. We're both emo kids. We both grew up on Warp Tour. So do the same thing for yourself. Take some time and analyze the music that you listen to. And the next step is actually learn those melodies. Try and replicate them yourself. When you're listening, think of it like a string of notes. Think about the timing. How long is each note? How short is it? Does it sound like it's going through a bunch of different notes? Does it stay simple with only like two or three notes? What does it make you feel? Are you happy? Are you sad? Now do your best. Replicate it by ear. 
try and play it, copy it down into Ableton, and just focus on the actual melody. Don't worry about the chords. And the more you do this, you'll start picking up patterns of what your favorite producers or artists are doing in regards to the melody. Once you start learning that, you start combining it with your music, boom, there it is, the U factor. This means you will always bring something unique because it comes from a genuine place. It comes from the music that you actually enjoy and that are inspired by. But yes, some days we will be stuck with writer's block and that's a little bit of a bit. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Oh, hi, You're probably wondering why, uh, why, why I'm here. Easy, this is where I get a lot of my melody ideas. In my bathroom, I've literally written a song while in the shower, washing my ball and wiping my ass. But if you want to get scientific about it, when you're in the shower or doing something relaxing, your brain is in a certain state that is very open to creative ideas. So the point of this is you want to find a nice, comfortable place, somewhere where you can relax or turn your brain off if you're ever stuck. It's gonna be during a walk, during a drive, maybe you're in the gym, shower, bathtub, and you get good at pulling your phone out and humming or singing the melody into voice notes. And then with enough practice, you'll actually be able to achieve this state even when you're just sitting down at Ableton and trying to come up with ideas. Which also leads me to my next point, and that's being open to all ideas. The whole concept of this entire thing is to try and get your ideas out really quickly. Get it out, get it down. That's Even if you're in there, you're writing stuff down, you think it sucks, just be open to it. Here's if it sounds like it's already been written or if it's super repetitive, I mean like think of a lot of really, really big songs. The hits. Because like I said, you can always just go back to it. You just rinse and repeat. Keep doing this over and over again. Because the best way to get better is to just keep doing it. It's practice. It's hard to kind of explain it, but I've gotten to the point where it just kind of comes out. It's like getting muscle memory on something. It just happens. Use these tips to speed that process up, and that's pretty much it. In summary, it's combining common chords with the Magic Five or the Pentatonic Scale. You want to listen and learn from other genres, other artists. Find a comfortable mental state at the bathroom, gym, driving, whatever. Be open to ideas. Put everything down. Get your ideas out fast because you can always come back to them. And do this over and over and over again. You gotta practice it. And that's it. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe to this video. Patreon is also live if you wanna support me, help this channel really grow. Follow me on all my socials, please. I need the validation. Here's the link. That's gonna be all for me. Peace out. Love you all. I hope this has inspired you. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. Peace out. Bye.